Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WK Algorithm. In this video, I'll show you how to add conditional logic to your Elementor Pro forms using Dynamic Content Plugin. It's quite simple and it builds the logic or it adds the conditions right into your Elementor int interface. Let's see how that works. Just drag in your Elementor form, which is this one. This comes with Elementor Pro in case you're wondering. So first I'll frame the logic and then we'll add conditions based on the logic. So I want name, email and the third field, I just want to make it a drop down. So based on the option that he picks in this drop down, I'll show or hide the next field. So let's say I just want a drop down. So the type should be select and the options will be collaboration. We'll just give this a label, reason for contact. I'll just give him some options, collaboration, sponsor, and then general. These are the three options. I'll also make this required. I'll make all the fields required. And next, I just want to show him an amount field or a number field where he can enter the amount that he wants to collaborate or the sponsor me with. I'll say sponsor amount. And this is a number. So once he picks the reason for contact, and if the option that he picks is collaboration or oh sorry sponsor I'll show this field so I'll go to conditions under condition I'll just click on show if I'll just toggle this on and off once just that this field ID appears I'll click here and this is actually set to message let's change the ID of the reason for contact we'll change it to reason so if reason field equals this which is sponsor I'll show him a number field where he can enter how much he wants to sponsor me with just a random logic it's not a real logic just explaining things here so once he picks sponsor from here I'll show him this and if the amount is more than hundred dollars I'll show him the next field so next I'll give him another select field and here I'll call it placement of ads so I'll say article feed banner or sidebar so based on the amount that he enters I'll place his ad or his particular product on my website so it can be with an article feed banner or sidebar he can pick from here so the logic here is again if the field ID which is again we have to change this to amount if the field ID amount is greater than or equals hundred dollars I'll give him an option to pick where he wants to show his ad or his advertise his product so I'll pick this and if it's more than a hundred dollars I'll give him a choice where he can pick the placement of his ad or the particular sponsor I'll hit update I'll click on the preview changes button now since we made all the two fields conditional these will only show once you pick this one here you can see right now we just see three fields here I'll just pick sponsor from here and the sponsor amount appears so if I type hundred dollars well if I type hundred dollars I can see the next field and if I change it to ten dollars I may not see the next field so that's the logic we set right but sometimes the client or the user can pick hundred dollars and then he can go back and change it to ten dollars and he can sim simply click on send and that's a problem because with ten dollars amount we don't want to give him an option to pick right so when he picks sponsor he can simply say click hit send if he fills out these fields so in order to avoid these we'll make all the conditional fields required so that it doesn't skip those fields so I just made sponsor amount required and also the placement of ads required and in addition to that I also added an empty field so all it did was to hit enter so that's an empty field and that's the default value of placement of ads so that way even if it tries to hit send the form won't be sent because the value is empty and it's required it won't be sent I'll show you how that works so we just updated the form let's let's start filling from the start I'll just fill the name email and let's pick sponsor I see the sponsor here ten dollars I hit send it's sent now I'll pick name email sponsor and let's say hundred dollars I click send that's not sent because with hundred dollars I get this conditional field which is shown and it's also required so I have to pick this option and if I hit send now it's not even sent because the first field we made it empty right so there cannot be an empty option because we made it required so this makes the user pick the option from here only then the form will be sent 
and sometimes the user can also change his mind he can hit ten dollars and click send and again the field is gone and that will make him click the send button again so that makes it clear to him that if he makes or if he sponsors us with less than hundred dollars he won't have the option to pick oh, let's say I picked hundred now I click on send it's not sent because he can pick his placement of ads if you want you can allow multiple selections within this field so within this you can allow multiple selection it's up to you but I'm just okay with one if he changes it to one if he tries to click on this field or clicks on send button that field is hidden because the amount that he entered doesn't qualify for our next condition which is to show the placement of ads select drop down so this is how you can use conditional logic and they also have conditional logic with multiple conditions so you can add multiple conditions to the field but there's a problem with this or a disadvantage you can only pick multiple conditions and the, all the operations in the conditions will be the same but let's say you want a field to be equals and you want another field to be greater than or equal to you cannot do that with this you can do that with javascript or you can even do that with wp forms i wish they just added the ability to add multiple different conditions to the fields so for instance you can pick the field ids reason and amount and then you can only say empty or not empty or greater than or not equals or something like that but you cannot have conditions such as reason is this and amount is greater than that that's not possible but anyway you can just change these conditions in the example that I showed you now so you can show this based on this and you can show this field based on the field above that that way you're essentially doing the and logic which is to show each field sequentially and then getting the input from the user although don't forget to make these conditional fields required I'll show you what happens if you don't make them required I'll click on content I'll just remove the required field from here I'll also remove the required field from here I'll update it so now he can pick reason for contact let's see what happens so if I pick reason for contact sponsor and click on send let's fill in these email first so let's say he picks sponsor and clicks on send that is sent without user entering the sponsor amount or picking the other fields and that's the reason why you should always make the conditional fields required so that way it will force him to select these fields and you can add an additional empty option to the drop downs radio button so that user will be forced to pick an option before the form is sent so that's conditional field logic in elementor pro forms using dynamic content plugin you can get dynamic content through the link in the description i'll talk to you in the next one there's a lot of content coming on elementor wordpress as a whole so stay tuned i'll talk to you in the next one peace